welcome back to the Kind of Famous Podcast. My name is Hunter. And my name is Elliot. And again, no, no Jamie Poo. No name no Jamie Poo. No name Jamie. He's uh, down for the count. He's down for the count, but but I promise maybe by the next episode he will be recovered. Yeah, he's down for the count, and there's no amount of joy I feel with him not here. I'd rather see him on the screen sitting there drinking a beer. Yeah, I'd rather him. Sweet. I, maybe maybe we, we should have just had him in his bed bundled up with a bunch of blankets laying and taking a nap, muted. But at least he would have been here in spirit. Did you did you hear my rhyme, though? It was. Did you yeah. notice that it was rhyming? I noticed it was really good. The, huh. the, end, the end threw me off a little bit because I was like, I didn't hear that rhyme, but I did hear the down for the count, no the amount. I did hear that He's one. down for the count, and there's no amount of mm-hmm. joy I feel without him here. I wish I could see him on the screen sitting there with a the beer. He's nice. He's pretty. He smells real good. Sometimes I walk around the neighborhood. I yell, name this. I, I don't know. Was that just, it? Was that just it? Bring yeah, her, it was really just bring good. Her in, just bring her in here. You, you yell, nameless. James. As you, as you, nameless, James. And he is not lames. He is the coolest guy we know, even in the snow. He rolls around like a dog in heat. <laughs> he dances on his four little feet. He's, <laughs> he's a Guys, we have a special boy. guest. Um, special G. Special G, Scramby Eggs, we're going to invite her right now. Hello? Yo! Yo! What up, dude? Can you hear, can you hear me? Us? I can hear I you. I can, yeah. Word. Um, I just forgot I need headphones for my microphone because I have a fancy one. Nice. You have a fancy one? Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Can you hear me? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Ah, okay. That's some there fancy crisp audio. Nice. It, isn't right. it nice? Yeah, it's very it, crisp. It is very crisp. Thank you. Do you use that a lot for like fun things or <laughs> no? Um, oh. I like uh, I my I have a lot of friends that do podcasts, so I kind of just use it for that. Okay. Um, and then I will occasionally do voiceover jobs, so that is what nice. I that sounds yeah. fun. So you were in a commercial. Yeah, today did, I did shot you, one. Did you sign an NDA? No. No. Or, I don't think so. No. <laughs> it's you for just Walmart. Talk about it? Yeah. Walmart? Walmart, yeah, dude, that's a sweet. I'm gig. very jealous of you. I freaking have an agent in Chicago, and dude, you're crushing it. Thanks. Are they you're sending like, you out? No, dude, I think I'm running a new one. You gotta get a new one. I had, I've had a bunch of callbacks for like Chicago PD and like uh, mm-hmm. I was almost on Mind Hunter. Cool for uh, Son of Sam. Uh, I was on hold for like three months, and then they're like, no, we don't, we don't need you anymore. Ugh. But. Uh, I followed you for a while, so I thought you were an actor. I'm like, oh shit, dude, jealousy. What has she been in? So I was trying to see Superstore, dude. Freaking sick, freaking sick. It's fantastic. Love, love that show, dude. It's such a good show. It's so good. I need, yeah. a, new, I need a new one. Anyway, you, welcome. Thanks for joining. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for joining the kind of famous podcast. Oh yeah, happy to be here. So, do you want to introduce yourself uh, for the people who may not know? Sure. Um. Hello, everyone. I'm Scramby Eggs. <laughs> My name is Anna Garcia. Uh, wow, what a thing to introduce yourself by your username first. Okay, yeah. um, I'm Anna Garcia. I go by Scramby Eggs on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'm an actor and comedian in Los Angeles, California. I'm from Michigan originally. Nice. When did you move to LA? I moved to LA August of 2017. So it's almost been four years. Nice. Wow, nice. Yeah. That's freaking sick. And Scramby Eggs just... Yeah, what's Scramby ways. Eggs? What's going on with that? You know, everyone always asks, and it's not like it's not a cool story. Right. Um, like just am I good. in college? I think it just sounds great, but like in college, my improv troupe was hungover, and we just like <laughs> uh my friend's uncle's girlfriend brought out this giant bowl of scrambled eggs. Um, and we like all said scramby eggs at the same time, and I was like, that's mm. the I like could I like was crying laughing. That's hilarious. I yeah. not stop. Absolutely. I was like, that's the best thing I've actually like. I'm like, that's the best combo right. of words I've ever heard. So was it were the eggs good? Yeah, I actually yeah. don't love scrambled eggs. Well, I, I'm imagining scrambled eggs in a bowl. That's Huge probably like, the grossest. Like, it was the biggest bowl of scramble eggs. Probably pretty deterring. Yeah. To me, that's like, that's my nightmare. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> like I the, didn't. <laughs> the eggs in a bowl. I had a lot nasty. of tater tots that morning. For That'll do it. I can. I can. I can't eat when I'm when I'm hungover. I can't eat a thing. I yeah. literally cannot. I at all. I. It, I'm, I'm, it's all day. I'm the kind of person that needs like a green juice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a nice Maybe cleanse. that's just because I'm an LA person now. But I'm like, I got, I gotta have spinach. <laughs> Here's what I have to do. 
right? So I'm hungover, right? I wake up, I feel like crap, right? Yeah. I will not feel good. All right, this is going to be TMI, all right? Cool. I'm just going to say it, all right? So <laughs> cool. I call, it the, I call it the plug. You know, it's that first dump of the day after drinking. Mm-hmm. You're never going to feel even close to normal until you get rid of the plug. And then after that happens, I can start to like manage. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. That's like, that's fantastic. No, let me tell you, you're exactly right. That's exactly right? correct. It's a hundred percent. There was accurate. one day where I was like constipated for many, many days. And mm-hmm. then I was like, I'm just going to get wasted. <laughs> and, then I, and then the next morning I was like, hell yeah. Dude, it freaking time. works. I, I have poop problems. I really me do. Me too. Me I so too. Bad. If I don't shit, if I don't, like, that's a I terrible have to day. go. If I don't, I, I, the I, issue. I have quit my job, right? Because I'm starting, you know, doing my thing. I'm trying to follow my dreams, everything. But yeah. only mainly because I get there at six thirty in the morning, and we're busy right away. I'm a server, right? We're mm. busy right away, and then I can't do it. I have to go. There's only one stall, one stall, and then there's a line, and I get stage fright. I'm in there. I'm trying to go, and then there's four dudes waiting for me. I can't shit. I can't. No, yeah, how are you supposed can't. to do that? And then everybody right. right. for days, for days, and then hemorrhoids, bro. <laughs> dude, let's talk hemorrhoids. Let's yeah, talk. I, it's a hemorrhoids. It's brutal. It's yeah. It's a reality we are actually facing day to day. Yeah, we're all in it. Yeah, you, you have you experienced hemorrhoids? Yes, many was, times, yeah. dude. When I was going it to the gym yeah. all the time, guys, that's, yeah. that's that's terrible. Okay, because then there's a point, and this is a little again. We're just on this level. No, we're, we're just we're, we're in it now. Uh, there's a point yeah, where yeah. how do you sit down? Like I couldn't even sit down in a regular no chair. No way. Yeah, you must have had those external roids. Dude, it, it was it was pretty bad. Yeah, I thought I, it worked. Comp- Oh, compression shorts you had what, compression, compression shorts, shorts? <laughs> yeah i was just having way. like just like pain just felt pain. like something ripped down there yeah but i could yeah. sit i could, I could sit. yeah mm. witch hazel was good that's oh. a little witch hazel wipes so you had dab it was it like a spell um no it's like a little wipe <laughs> okay <laughs> they call it witch hazel wipes okay oh, that's sick but anyway um so like one day i was like <laughs> in the bathroom i thought i was dying right yeah. in high school i had i tried the blazing wing challenge after uh production oh, no. of the nerd the nerd right and i had like five blades of wings and went home and then i next day sit on the toilet it really burned then the day after that i went to the bathroom i looked in there it was dark red oh my god call my mom and she's no. like we got a problem no and then we came to the conclusion home. it was it was hemorrhoids anyway yeah it's been a struggle though it, it never really go away no anyway <laughs> anyway so Scramby Ace, Anna, yes. you started, which is one when I followed you, you started the if you're me, do wet this in an hour freaking trend. Yes. yes. Correct. Dude. So you you are the CEO of that, and that's confirmed. You're the CEO of that. I am. I I have contributed to TikTok culture. Um, yeah. Fantastically. <laughs> have I, I made I any money? That. No. <laughs> God, have I contributed to TikTok culture? Yes. So no, okay. so so you're not like in the creator fund or doing anything like that, or what's okay. That? I am in the creator fund, but okay. man, you guys, I'm making <laughs> limited money on that mm. thing. <laughs> I also like when I really kind of blew up on TikTok when I started that trend mm-hmm. and yeah. was doing it for a while. Um, I didn't qualify the create for the creator fund yet because I just kind of started posting at that time, right. um, mm-hmm. like a lot. And so, like my first video ended up getting like nine million views, and I got no money from that. Um, so, so I joined later. Um, and then like, you know, life gets a little busier. So I started slowing down on TikTok. So every now and then, like if a video does really well, I'll get like 30 bucks. Um, yep. but nice. I've probably made like 37 cents today. <laughs> like, Dude, <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Cause I remember I was like, Dude, this, I was like, cause I, I was trying to like blow up too. So I was like watching people's growth. I'm like, Oh, this yeah. is a freaking hilarious video. It's a great trend. And yeah. so I did, I did some page talk and I'm like, Dude, this is funny. Right. And I, I kind of watch how fast your shit was go- going up. Mm-hmm. And yeah. dude, like, let me tell you that, that you had the people wanting more of those. Oh, I know. Wets, dude. I know. You had and them I, on the edge of their seat. I kept doing them. And after, and like, I just, this is, you guys probably understand this. Like, uh, yeah. everyone on TikTok's like, like all the experts are like, just do the thing that made you viral over and over again. Um, right, right. And people get stuck in these like content holes. And I was like, I'm a comedian. Mm-hmm. I want to do other shit besides this, even though I love doing that. So I was like yeah. trying to like parse other content in between right. what the people craved. And they don't make it easy for us. No, to do they that. don't. At first, I'm literally, no. I'm still in a, a content hole. I can't yeah. change. I can't change. And I'm too far in now. I'm too far deep. Oh, no. I have to do these, the carnival videos. 
Yeah. I have to like expose Carmel and like I can't get out of this hole. I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. But um, well, at least for you, you're, you're getting work. So creator fun, right. you know. True. And then I have done a couple like sponsored posts, a couple yeah. uh mm. and that's nice. Those pay those you are yeah. well. <laughs> really nice. Yes. Except for this one right here. Except did you ever do the coldest water bottle god they were like we'll give you 150 dollars if you do 15 videos i was like what I, excuse are they kidding me? me i just got the <laughs> bottle and i was like oh my 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 tag is on here yeah his name is on it i'm done i did two videos i'm like screw this dude they're they so, they are, so much. is it even good is it even so, like a good bottle yeah dude, it's it- okay it's okay. <laughs> okay it's not even like it's just an average bottle it's not that good it I'm, really is not that good okay that's it's good the only job. one i own though so there you go. I, Shout out Coldest Water. Yeah. No, yeah. I did. I did your. I did your trend in September, oh. a while ago, before when I had no followers. I did. I was like, I'm gonna do this, and then I did it. So 900 likes, really good. Oh, really hell good. Yeah. yeah so we, 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 we <laughs> quick little blow up on that one. Um, cool. <laughs> no, but I, I did, it's, it's it was a it was a fantastic idea, and it, I'm Thank sure you. that feels great to have something that's like, oh yeah, I know, I know her. She does that, but yeah, like all your all your other stuff. Like I saw your video recently of you were like doing a green screen of like all the stuff you've been in. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> let's talk about that. Like okay, the stuff I've been in. Yeah. Like what? If, what have all of you been in? If you're allowed okay. to say it. Let me let me list it. Um. <laughs> okay, so I've been on TV. Mm-hmm. I was in. I was on. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Um. I was on yeah. the Goldbergs. Um. And then I was on Superstore. And mm-hmm. then I shot a few months ago an episode of a uh, HBO show that is not out yet. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. Um. And then. I just, I've been doing commercials for a hot sec. So I've done commercials for Duracell, Jack in the Box, Pizza Hut, wow. Walmart, 18. Hey, I'm a slave to capitalism. Dude, that's um, the, that's, that's the all way. through like your agent or whatever. Like you just yeah. do, booking them gigs. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, I swear. That's, that's awesome. <clears throat> you think I living swear. in LA has anything like, like that helps a lot, I'm sure? Yeah, like LA all the, all is like, like is it helps truly. You, it, it, this is the place to be booking. Because she kind I of like, looks trash. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get your ass over here. Like, I think that anyone that is like, eat, like, there are so many successful people here that are fucking awful. If you're yeah. like, if you're like moderate smart and moderate good, you'll be fine. <laughs> like, right. sick. Um, and you're Plus, funny, I got a sick so mustache, like, dude. I got a sick mustache. You have like, like truly the perfect look for so many commercials. Dude, like, literally, and I kind of like Pablo Escobar. People tell me that all the time. I'm not sure if there's something there. Yeah, regardless. I would check in with your agent. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that because, dude, <laughs> <laughs> study stuff to do. So when you so did you go to school for acting? No, um, no? I went to school and I studied film. So I studied nice. writing, writing and That's directing. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Nice, and then improv group, and then after that. Uh-huh. You just moved to LA with no bookings, or did you just seriously move there? Or so I, um, yeah, I moved to LA like three months after graduating. So here's the the real news. So I grew up doing commercials in Michigan, very oh. small commercials. Ooh. I was oh, in probably Michigan like five. I know Michigan nice. at one point had a booming film in- yeah. industry, wow. and, but I did do a couple commercials in Michigan, and so I moved to LA, and I was SAG eligible which is like damn union so i already moved here and agents were like that's good um so it was like i didn't have any connections or anything i just kind of moved here and cold emailed people like that's how i got most of my rep immediately and but there was i did have a little leg up because i uh already was like i've done a commercial uh did you have like a sick what they what industry people call a sick package (laughs) Hunter, like, like it's like, like a is that what they call it like a hundred percent you did you had like a like a, you, I just, you I had, have, honestly a fire package okay sick yeah I'm gonna so, put one together then. so I'm gonna my package the sick package is just like kind of like a, a bunch of like video clips of stuff you've been in maybe yeah or what is it um it's a sick, like, yeah, a sick package yeah you want to take this one <laughs> yeah, so from what I know because I think my package is like far from sick but also Chicago uh-huh. kind of blows but like um Got a it's bad like package. A, a resume. Yep. Um, a bunch of sh- a bunch of nice shots, a couple types, like headshots, mm-hmm. headshots. Okay, some pics. Like uh, and then there's like the, your reel. Yeah. You know, it's like a TV reel, like a, a film. Reel. Like on a mm-hmm. film. Or... Yep. Like a, no, not like a film, not, not like a physical oh. reel, like a, like a, like a, yeah, like a, a blank. 
Yeah, yeah you said it the whole film. And the yep. little crank. Yeah. And then, uh, so like they, when they look at it, like, oh, this person, here's all the stuff that we need to know about them. Yeah. The types. And they're like, okay, we can market this. Yes. Um, good? So I, I did, upon moving, have a sick package. Sick package. Nice. I made a film uh, the end of my senior year in college. And then I like submitted to a, a small handful of film festivals. So I was like, I've got a film in festivals. Don't you want in on the action? Mm-hmm. Um, so I like kind of milked it, but you know, you got to milk, dude. You got to milk it. You got to milk in LA. It's all about milking. It's but um, yeah, it was, it's been good, but I also like, I know a lot of people that majored in acting and then came out here and like immediately got representation and we're just like chugging. And I, will say like this is my like thing like i didn't have an acting showcase or anything but it's like i feel like in la it's very possible to still get mm-hmm. good representation right be, like a classically trained actor whatever. right i went to literally usc for acting it was like <clears throat> shakespeare class like check off and it was like mm-hmm. all right i'm over this and then i like the showcase got an agent mm-hmm. but then like they don't really i don't know it was you know nothing really comes of that and yeah I, and I think then it's... i ended up doing tiktok instead of anything like that right now <laughs> yeah TikToking away you don't need school that's what, what, saying. what we're saying is don't go to school go to school just make tiktok exactly <laughs> just do it and you'll be famous that's right how long have you been acting since like five you said yeah so like been, you've I always wanted just to pursue theater. this like mm-hmm. is that that's what you've always wanted to do well yes okay yes i did theater when i like starting at six at like the community theater near me mm-hmm. and um so i literally been acting since then and then I actually auditioned for the acting program in Michigan. And I was like, if I, that was the only acting program I auditioned for. And I was like, if I get into this program, I'll be an actor. And if I don't, it wasn't meant for me. Okay. Um, and then I didn't get in. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> okay, no path. So I was like, I'll do advertising. I'll do other things. So I was like, and then the junior year came around. I was like, ah, no, I'm right. going to keep doing this. There you go. And there was an improv team there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Every improv. college got one. Every college got one. Ours had three. Um, yeah. Ours was, it was great. I did it for four years and lit, I just loved it. Um, yeah. I think that that is also like some of the best training that a person can have. You're a hundred percent. I really think, and I took all my improv classes out here too. And I've not taken one damn acting class. And I'm like, I think improv is just as valuable. It's all you need to be like mm-hmm. charismatic in mm-hmm. the zone. Exactly. Freaking like bing, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. So what's like some good improv? Like what? What's like I'm I'm not I've never been in theater. I've never improbbed. What? what? what is, is like improv joking? Improv Are you joking? serious? Or what? <laughs> improv joking? Is Are you serious? Is? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm Hunter, you, you were the, you do great, man. You would. Do I am. Um, Hunter, you would I be did, good. I did more yeah, video. That's, that's I did more like behind the camera writing I things see. and stuff. Tech like guy. That. Tech little, guy. Little techie. Like techie the way I describe improv, it's like we're currently improvising, right? Like mm-hmm. we're currently popping off each other but improv is just like doing it as a character and like just pretending yeah. you're somewhere uh, else like in the zone like there's so it's like, forms. it's like guys can you believe this look at this microphone that's... the shape of this thing <laughs> dude yeah that's a crazy shape bro Did yeah you dad that? that's crazy will you take me to school now and i'm just like whose kid is Carol. this <laughs> you can go to <laughs> school. my kid dude i'll whose take you to school we can go to school Honor. So, okay. So, so anyway, uh, okay. we're we're doing yes ending. Anyway, we'll get into it. Later. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Very also, nice. there's like improv, like in I like in TV shows, like the TV show Easy. You ever mm-hmm. watch TV show Easy or the movie Drinking Buddies? You ever watch that one? No. Where it's oh, it's just literally like the director is the same director, but like all the actors, there's no script, mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. all the booze on set is like real, and they just but they junkie. know the storyline. Wow. And it wow. makes it makes it seem really freaking natural because yeah they're just in the zone you know what i mean I, I will say like at least for commercials almost every audition they're like do the script and then they're like just improvise just like have fun and then add a little button at the end so mm. like having that being able to like whip something out is like key crucial yeah, i think yeah that's crucial hunter you should, you should try it dude i'll try it hunter, I'll try, it's fun. I'll, i'm gonna try i'm gonna try getting into it and just hunter where are you time. where do you live i live in florida Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of opportunities here. Word. So. Uh, okay. I'm, trying, yeah, I'm trying not to live in Florida my whole life. So I was born here. Yeah. You don't Where in be Florida there. are you? Like Orlando. Really? Mm-hmm. My grandparents lived in a. Do you know I live that? in. A Shut the fuck up. I was, I, was I was like, I tell people Orlando because it's like that. No one knows. I tell people Orlando because no one knows. Yeah. I literally am like. 
like wait I wait that's there. so crazy i that, literally that's wild. have never met a fucking person i used to go there every single year that's crazy yeah I'm i've here. never met a person that knows where that is no, dude, that's, that's insane that's that insane. is pretty crazy that is crazy actually insane okay. so many golf and courses a lot of golfing <laughs> a lot of golf courses in florida you big golfer yeah. you golf a lot me no <laughs> no <laughs> I don't know. Oh, me? Yeah, you love <laughs> golfing? Oh, I guess I am the guest. Um, I <laughs> do I do like golfing. I don't do it often. Um, sometimes my dad will invite me to go to the driving range with him, which makes me feel very cool. Oh, yeah. um, and then I've like gone golfing with my parents a couple times. They are obsessed with golf. They do it like three times a week. Um, Dude, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's the golfing. way. They are that's going the to Florida to retire. Like they love right. to golf. And that's they want to like, be where you are. That's like where I'm at. It's like I'm in the retirement state. <laughs> and I need to not retire right now. And that's I'm like, LA. It's sick. Me? I want to be in a freaking at t commercial, dude. If, if I'm lucky, dude. With my so yeah, that's my, that's Get my your question. Ass over here. Oh no! So you you freaking? Did you meet so him? You were, who me? You met Machete? Dude, freaking, oh, so cool. dude. Like we barely exchanged eye contact. Like barely. He. I was oh. like, hey. He was like, hey. <laughs> I always wondered if like 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 if you're filming that like you filmed your part and then he filmed his part like another day. Yeah, or... that's how it. That's how it happened. Oh, we that's how it happened separately, especially because of COVID. Um. Mm-hmm. But we like did a, a changeover, and I was like, mm. "Hey!" And he was like, "Hi." <laughs> he awesome. was really, he was really cool and very funny. Um, so. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the one person that you were a scene partner where you're like, "This is nuts." Um. Mm. Okay. Danny DeVito in "It's Always Sunny" was the most amazing and chaotic experience of all time like that man was an hour late he showed up and he was like where are my lines he like didn't know his lines wasn't sure what scene it was charlie day was on set uh basically as the danny wrangler like he wasn't directed like he was just like on set to help and there were multiple times danny he was so nice so sweet but just like pure chaos like we would be doing a scene he'd forget a line and he would just go cut and the director was like, Danny, you can't call cut. Like, <laughs> like he's just like, you can't do that. And he did That's that awesome. twice. That is um, awesome. Yeah. It was That's so exactly fun. how I picture him. Like literally. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, he exactly. was so sweet though. Like a uh, truly a sweet man, but just like totally crazy. That's that awesome. is insane yeah. dude you're living my dream that's, that's insane dude. it's it's weird that you guys say that because in la it's like the truly the land of comparison so sometimes i'm like i'm what do you what am mm. i doing you know right like legit if i if i booked one freaking little caesar's commercial i'd be like i fucking made it dude. Like, <laughs> i had a call back dude and they're like oh this is i get so close call back boom i got they're gonna fly me out to like detroit or some shit i don't know why I crushed it's that because callback, Little dude. Caesars um, was started in Detroit. Right, anyway. I crushed it. Fun fact: I was like, dude, they're like, they're like, oh my god, we love you. I'm like, oh, dude, casting agents, love, I'm, just, I'm so stoked. They Boom. love you. They love Everything's all set. <clears throat> I Caesar canceled pizza. the show I was in. I was in a sketch show. Canceled that the day before. It's supposed to go. They said you're released. <gasps> I'm like, excuse wow. me. No. Excuse me. Boom. Nothing. Excuse me. Your peaches. Nothing. Your pizza's also, garbage anyway. I have a said. little beef with Los Angeles, dude. I was <gasps> booked me. pretty much for not Los Angeles, but some dude. I was booked for a national commercial, three spots <gasps> for money to Metro, some insurance, I think. Okay. And it was this goofy character. And it was gonna be me and this other dude, right? Um, and then the freaking director went to an improv show mm. in Los Angeles. And saw twins performing. Saw I'll twins. Ki- I'll kill them. Twins. Days before. <laughs> I'll end them. Release me and the other guy. Hire the twins. Kill them for me. I'm going to end them. How dare kill they? Kill them for me. How dare they, dude? We don't even. We don't need twins. Come on. That's fucked. We don't need twins. We, Come on. There's, there's freaking two of them. of them. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> At least one of them has to go. Yeah. You see one, you know what the other one's going to freaking look like, dude. <laughs> Lit- you see literally. One, you literally know. Literally. You see me, you have no idea the other guy's going to fucking look like. Yeah. No exactly. idea. Exactly. Could be anybody. That's ridiculous. That's anyway, fucked up. That's fucked up, dude. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I get that's it. That's all I'm saying. Well, you're crushing. It. That's, that's amazing. You know. Thank you. Are you going to continue doing TikTok? Or are you kind of like? No, you don't post. You don't post too too much. I really don't post too. Mm-hmm. There will be. But you're also doing commercials, so it's like. You know. <laughs> I know. I'm like at least my career is not like riding on me being TikTok successful, um, but like I because that app stresses me the fuck out. Um, mm. it's, so it's, it's, it's a. It's, it's crazy. It's stressful. Yeah, it stresses me out. And it's like so much of quantity over like 
not quality, but it just is like do every moment, make it a TikTok, um, right? And then we will reward you. And I'm like, I can't do that. Um, so there will be some weeks where I'm like, I haven't posted in two weeks, so I'll post like five times in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I'll be like, I'm exhausted, and just <laughs> do it's like a That's cycle. It. And then every now and then, if I have an idea, I'll, I'll do it. But like, yeah, I've been taking it pretty easy, just because it it really does stress me out, like. The pressure to go viral is obviously one thing, but like things that you really like mm-hmm. that don't do well. It's just like there's no consistency, I think, at all with the app um, yeah. in terms of views, in terms of audience. So it's just like it's very hard as a creator, I think, to like have any sort of consistency on the app or like yeah. really control. So I find that challenging, um, though there's obviously a, a bunch of really good things about it. But like, yeah, yeah. sometimes I just yeah. have to take a little break. <clears throat> have you ever been recognized on the street for a commercial or a TV show? I have been recognized twice. Nice. Both from TikTok. I believe it. No. Yeah. Never once from a commercial. I was literally like housing Chipotle on the street. Um, and this dude comes up to me and he was like, are you scramby eggs? And I was like, what the fuck? It was the (laughs) most surreal thing. And he was like, I've been with you since you had like 800 followers. Like you're the best. And it was just like, that's so cool. I was like, like, huh? Um, It was was very nice. Um, So yeah, they've both been TikTok interactions, which is just like crazy. And you were in some like pretty sick TV show. Like what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah, really. I had like, yeah, I was in a bunch of shows, but I like two lines in them. So I don't expect anyone to be oh, like, the zookeeper from It's Always Sunny, episode <laughs> 514. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Scramby A is especially kind of famous. Uh, yeah, I'm kind very, of famous. Very kind of famous. Like legit. Like that's how I would say, oh yeah, I'm kind of famous. I've been on a few TV shows. You know I mean? That's what that's, if I read right. it, that's what, I'd be like, that's what I think. I'm like, I would say I'm like, I don't know. Fame is like such a weird spectrum. Do you think LA. you're kind of famous? Like, do you, do you like, hey, I mean, I'm kind of famous. Or do you think you're like famous, famous? Or like, no, I'm not famous, famous. Not famous I would say famous. I'm, if anything, I'm kind of famous. And that's, yeah. and that's do you walk into a room and they're like, yeah, I'm a bad bitch. Like, <laughs> do you have well, confidence? Do, does it give you confidence I, that you're like, I bet it does. It would give me comments. Oh, let me tell you, I do feel that way almost all the time um, that I am a bad bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. I right. will say um, the the highs and lows of my life, like the highs are the career hits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so like that being said, L.A., every person walks into the room being like, I'm right, the true. baddest bitch. <laughs> true. Um, true. Like the commercial I shot today, the other actors were, I hope they're listening, nightmares. Because um, mm, everyone's like, guys, freak them um but, i hate that oh it's just a nightmare but i uh i don't know yeah i would say kind of famous definitely a bad bitch it is nice to like so i feel like everyone at the beginning of quarantine was like use this time to make art write that screenplay mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. use right. this time and i was like i can't <laughs> like, I was right. like my brain won't let me right now mm-hmm. um and i will say like having tiktoks like having made something does feel good Mm -hmm. Um, and like even like the commercials like it does feel good to have like physical content that exists and like yeah yeah and like some sort of success from it like that does feel very valid accomplishments accomplishments. good one yes like that when when we shut down like and i was like getting closer and closer to like booking something and then i shut down like fuck my add ass was like i so i got obsessed with something first it was the sims Mm-hmm. I downloaded The Sims again, and <laughs> I raised Sims. a family, and then I Congrats. killed them all. <gasps> oh, I and then wow, how this is gonna sound really fucked up. I need to know how they. I need to know how they died. So, well, the first family, I they got a big mansion because they were all very successful. Very, nice. Did you use a and cheat then, code? No, oh I, I did. I did it the right way. Holy shit! And then I would have. I would hire maids, <laughs> and then I would lure the maids into outside, and and then they would start painting. And then I would build a glass wall around them painting. So I had like nine mates all painting in glass boxes. And over time, they had nothing else to do but paint. So they were making me, I would sell their paintings when they're done. And they'd had nothing else to do except for paint again. (laughs) (laughs) They would die. I would delete a wall. started like a... a, (laughs) Slave labor. Slave <laughs> artists. I know. Oh my God. I know. A so I was obsessed mind. with the Sims. I really did. It was a blast. <laughs> and then I started, uh, um, I don't know, Sims 2. 
that's was, the that best was one as, in my that's opinion. That's pretty good. Oh, since two, yeah, since two is the best one, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I got obsessed with TikTok because my friends like, dude, I, I don't have any followers. I posted a video and I got seventy five views. So I'm like, dude, who the fuck watched this shit? Like, you have no followers. He says how it works. I'm like, no yeah, shit. It's weird. How it yeah. works? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Okay, fuck it. Hopped on there, started posting funny ass sketches. Some, you know, mm-hmm. some, you know, I'm a funny guy. I'm like, oh, this is what I enjoy doing. They did mm-hmm. nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Yo, these, these are good. My first like 30 posts, I was like, am I the, the worst? Am I <laughs> fucking trash garbage, dude? I was like, I might be Literally. the worst. <laughs> but I became obsessed with it, dude. I literally, I'm, 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 everyone was getting so mad at me, dude. Like, like get the fuck off your phone. I said, mm. you're gonna be sorry one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now everyone is like, oh, but it's only because I got fucking obsessed with it, and it's the only thing I ever thought about for months. I think that's the, how you have to do it. Like when I, I was at my peak TikTok, you think about it all day. You go mm-hmm. live every day. Like it's yes. just right. like it really. You can be your career if you really want it to. Like mm-hmm. you can become. Yeah. But the Sims now, I want to play the Sims again, dude. I don't know if you're allowed to. I think it's, I think you're what you're doing is not safe. Should I str- should I stream it? Should I stream the Sims? You and Twitchy? That, and that would be fun. It? That'd be fun, right? Be fun. Yeah, I want to stream. I don't know anything. I've watched. Okay, wait. My friend Tim does this thing called baby mind on twitch where oh. he for eight hours straight never leaves his camera and is a baby he's like a 40 year old man and he or holy like, shit and he's just a baby and he's just like I died for eight hours so it's he- so it's so it's an acquaintance or a friend <laughs> a friend Wait, it's an acquaintance okay <laughs> i was gonna say is your best friend does, he, or- does I- he make the does he make the money uh yeah last the first time he did it uh was a few weeks ago and he made a lot of money doing it that gives me hope. Yeah, it was awesome. Gives me what if I just saying you should eat eight peanut butter? It was eight peanut butter a jar until it was gone. That would take like forty minutes. <laughs> I'd be pretty twenty sick minutes after. if you're really hungry, buddy. Right. I'd be pretty sick after. <laughs> yeah, you would. Your mouth would be all sticky. If I did it, I, that, if I did it, that'd be pretty cool. I might die. I'm allergic, so that'd be kind of. Wait, like, you should do it. Up, you know, I would you watch. Do it. Be like guy allergic to peanut butter eats entire jar. Guy died. Guy died. Oh, like, dude. <laughs> Unless you had like a whole crew behind you, like and then uh, just like a whole, just just, just like, people right, with guys, pens. Right, yeah, just, just everyone behind me. All right, guys, I'm feeling it, and then just get like a bunch of just stabs. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that would be that'd be a pretty cool. Fucking spectacle. That <laughs> would, would be watch. a. I would watch. Yeah. Well, we did. This, this has been a blast. This has been a. This has been a blast, dude. Crazy time. I love uh, meeting new people. Yeah, we you should have, be a guest um, host sometimes when we have like a big. Yeah, we have a um. Another what do you mean bigger guest, bitch? What like no 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like I mean like um Ellie, like, you're gonna ruin like, this like, for like us. George Clooney or fucking um Oh word, 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 word. Yeah, he is big. George Clooney, Roker. Elvis Presley, maybe. You're gonna Roker. get Al on it? Here? I don't know, dude. I'm just saying. Or any guest, dude. I just want you to be bored if it's some like weird guest from TikTok. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, yeah. Like, be like, oh, who the fuck, you know? I would but love like, to. That would be very fun for me. Yeah, guest host. We have another guy, uh, Nameless James. Nameless James, who's uh, but he got the first time. vaccine. And, uh, got he's, a vaccine. He's a little ill. Oh, he's apparently. out. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's, he's yeah. Down. Cool. He's down for the count. Yeah. And so, like, well, we're 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 doing the potty. Yeah, get some cool, uh, feminine young boy energy. In dude, here. that's what so we've been so fucking missing, dude. That's what we've been <laughs> literally been missing. We'll definitely um, have you on again, though, for sure. Yeah, oh, if yeah, you're down, this is this is great. We'll have you on again for sure. If I say, dare I say, it's probably one of the best ones we've had. No, honestly, yeah, for no. sometimes, dude. No, it's sometimes it's hard. Sometimes to, it's like, hard because people just charisma are me. not what they seem like. Like, like Weird. you're fun, and you, yeah. you're what you seem like in Thank your vids, you. right? But this is this is good. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Do you want to plug anything? Yeah, plug yourself. Um, sure. I mean, what else is there to plug? I just like my Instagram and TikTok, which is at Scramby Eggs. I'm also on Twitter at Anna Lynn Garcia, and I'll go through like Twitter binges mm. um, where nice. I'll just post a ton and then I'll, you know, I mean, apparently that's just my uh, trend of posting. Right. Yeah. But We're yeah, that's pretty much it. Hell yeah, dude. Cool. It's awesome. Sick. Well, thank you so or, much for dude. coming on. Thank you so much. It's so much yeah, fun. Yeah. This was so fun. It's so nice to like, meet you guys and chad in person hell yeah, yeah for, for real sure. and then uh yeah just uh hit us up we'll hit you up well if, if we're ever like dude let's fucking get this hop on see what, you, see what you're doing hop on yeah we'd love to for another episode awesome yeah. dude cool thank All you right, so bye much bye. Thank you. Bye. you too dude. dude that was really good fucking episode. primo dude that was a really good episode. she's hilarious that she's was great. fun she was like she was playing it like an actual fucking podcast like she was, she was playing like, it like a podcast, fun. dude. Like, it was She's, a, we're she, we on a talked about chatting. we talked about our hemorrhoids, buddy. That's what it's supposed to be, man. 
we talked about our hemis and our and our bowel issues. Yeah, dude. And it was a blast, dude. She's exactly how she seems in her videos. Well, that was so much fun, wasn't it, Elliot? That was a fantastic blast. It was a fantastic blast. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Um, my name is Elliot Sims on TikTok. It's Elliot Sims on Instagram. Uh, my name is Hunter the Hill on TikTok and Hunter the Hill on Instagram. Also, follow us on Instagram, the podcast page, that is. Uh, follow us oh. at kindoffamous.podcast on TikTok at kindoffamous.podcast. And if you see us in the streets. If you see us in the streets, just know. Just know. We're kind of famous. famous. We're kind of famous.